This is Twit. AMD at 9 o'clock this morning Eastern had a couple of interesting press releases. One of them teasing processor availability November 25, 1125. Mark your calendars because that's when not just the 3950X that we've been talking about, that Ryzen 3000 desktop part, 16 cores, 32 threads, $749. That launches on the 25th. It actually has a release date now. That wasn't the big news. Right. The big news is they've officially announced the third generation of Threadripper. So if you're not familiar, Threadripper, the massive multi-core monster CPUs for desktops and workstations from AMD, and they currently top out at the 2990WX, which is this crazy 32-core, hmm. 64-thread part. It's based on the Zen Core. but it's actually Zen Plus on those. But the new... Threadrippers. They've only announced two, at least to this point, the 3960X and the 3970X. They haven't increased the core count. You're still talking about a maximum 32 cores from that high-end 3970 part, 24 cores for the other part. But it's based on the brand new Zen 2 architecture, which as we've talked ad nauseum about this year, significantly <laughs> increased the performance per core from generation to generation. So if you think about the kind of instructions per clock, IPC improvements that we've seen from right. Zen Plus to Zen 2 on desktop. Imagine how that scales across 32 cores from this 3970X part, which, by the way, will not be inexpensive. And it's it's kind of staggering to think about the performance possibilities of this. Right. But pricing, I mean, it, we've been used to, in the last year, seeing things drop and drop and drop. A first-generation Threadripper is now so cheap that it's become the subject of like, is it worth a budget build type article? And the biggest hurdle there is basically the motherboard cost. So if you already have a motherboard or can find a cheap one, those parts are just ridiculously cheap. And then the second gen thread Threadripper has been dropping and dropping and dropping. These new parts are going to launch at $1399 for the 24 core 48 thread 3960X, and then it's going to be $1,999, so $2,000 for the 32-core, 64-thread 3970X. So these are not cheap, but in addition to the architectural improvements, you get more cash. They're up to 128 megabytes of cash. If you're comparing these to the Ryzen 3000 parts, there's just more PCIe lanes. That was actually a bit confusing, but we'll talk about that. The the, the 88 <laughs> total platform lanes, but only in 72 of those are actually usable at any given time, uh, which is sort of interesting. And then the, the other part of this announcement is that they will not work, even though they have the same number of pins in seemingly the same configuration. You cannot put one of these new CPUs in your current high-end Threadripper motherboard. So you're going to have to buy a new motherboard, and they have a new platform called trx40 so you're gonna have to buy a trx40 motherboard if you want to buy one of these processors so this is going to be kind of edge case you know you need all of these cores you need the fastest instructions per clock possible on a high-end workstation because these are not going to be inexpensive cpus and then we have yet to see exactly what the platform itself is going to cost but once again i think this is pcie4 rearing its head and saying, you know, the, well, maybe those old motherboards supported Threadripper just fine because of PCIe 4.0 requirements. We're not going to allow you to install the CPUs unless some renegade company decides to allow that with firmware. It seems like this may end up being a firmware limitation and not an actual physical limitation. 